All space is penetrated by electromagnetic radiation. Visible light is an electromagnetic wave. Ultraviolet or X-rays are also electromagnetic waves. The main characteristics of an electromagnetic wave are their length and frequency. These quantities are universally proportional. Depending on these quantities, electromagnetic waves are divided into classes, which are conveniently arranged into a spectrum as frequencies decrease and wavelength increase. In this range at one end we will see gamma radiation, which generates in nuclear reactions in atomic decay. Then, as the wavelength increases, we will pass by visible light and come to radio waves. These are the waves that are used for data transmission in radio networks. These are waves with frequency of 3 kHz to 3000 GHz, waves of high frequency and low wavelength, but they can't go round the Earth. Therefore, data are transmitted with these waves within direct visibility. On the other hand, long waves can be transmitted on long distances. They are in turn divided into five B classes. Depending on the wavelength, they are classified ultra-short, short, medium, long and super-long waves. Ultra-short waves or USW are waves with frequencies from 300 MHz to 3000 GHz. Their length is from a tenth of a millimeter to a meter. They are additionally subdivided into decimeter, centimeter waves, etc. We know well the use of these waves. They are used for FM radio broadcasting with frequency modulation, television and radar. As these waves freely go through the ionosphere, they can also be used for spatial communication. Also, super high frequency waves are used in familiar process such as mobile communications, wireless networks and satellite navigation, or in microwave ovens, though they don't transmit any information there. These waves penetrate well, but they can be received only within direct visibility of the source. Therefore, you may fail to catch your favorite radio outside the city. Waves with a wavelength of up to 100 meters and a frequency of 3 to 30 megahertz are called short waves. They are often used for communication by means of portable radio transmitters. They can also be used for radio broadcasting. They are known for their ability to be reflected by the Earth ionosphere so they are widely used by radio communication emitters. These are emitter ranges used by radio communication enthusiasts. These occurs by repeated reflections of radio waves from the ionosphere and the Earth. The quality of communication depends on the ionosphere conditions, that is, the natural conditions. When the conditions are quite favorable, one can communicate using these waves with a so-called antipode, another radio emitter in the opposite point of the globe. Medium waves are waves of 300 kHz to 30 MHz, that is, having a wavelength from 100 m to 1 km. This waveband is widely used for amplitude modulation radio broadcasting, and the wavelength of 160 m is also allotted for amateur radio communication. Another range is long waves. Their frequencies are between 30 and 300 kHz, and the wavelength is up to 10 km. They are also used for radio broadcasting. Unlike short waves, they can be received at a considerable distance from the source, provided the signal is powerful enough. Due to the diffraction of the Earth's surface, they can spread on thousands of kilometers. Still longer waves over 10 kilometers are called super-long waves. They are poorly absorbed by Earth's surface and water and almost insensitive to disturbed ionosphere. They can be used for communication at any distances. Therefore, their main use in the communication with submarines. The transmission frequency is from 3 to 30 kHz. Their main shortcoming is the low data transfer rate, units of bytes per second. This is the principal division of radio waves. Besides, each country has its own communication wave bands, allotted for special needs and having an appropriate name. 
for example, civil wave bands, civil aviation wave bands, sea and weatherway wave bands, and wave bands used by secret services. Thus, we learn about the adopted classification of radio waves by frequency and wavelength, and the use of different wave ranges for radio communication.